of this vlog, you'll know that basically what we do is we take cool cars and we go cool places. Oh, today shouldn't really be any different. This is the last day that I have this 67 Dodge Charger from the Murphy Auto Museum. We're gonna swing this car back to the museum and then we're gonna head up to Ojai, which is a small town that I grew up in. And we're going for a hike, Kathy is behind me. Now, although I lived up in Ojai for 14 years or so, I never went on this hike. That was just not something that uh, teenagers did too much of. We're talking way, way back in the day. But this car has been a lot of fun to have. Appreciate David at the Murphy giving it to me. Rest assured, we'll be getting something else very soon. For now, it's about an hour and a half drive up to the museum and to Ojai. I don't want to waste your time with that. Let's just make it happen instantly, like right now. And voila, here we are. Bye-bye, Dodge Charger. Hello, King Tahoe. Mm. And voila, Kathy has appeared, miraculously. No, you appeared in my car. Oh, we're headed up to Ojai, which is just outside of Ventura, because Kathy got this gangbuster hiking idea to go hike some trail that she's never been on, never heard of. I seen. just wanted to get in the sun. Malibu yeah. was still cloudy. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes you have to uh you gotta leave Malibu to find where the sun is. We don't want to go in the valley. No. So uh Ventura County is better. What's the one thing you're looking forward to most on this hike? The health food store I'm gonna go to afterwards. Why don't we just go treat. straight straight there and get the treat? Because treats happen later oh, after the hike. We have to earn our treat. See what it is, you know, having to live with this woman? Beautiful. You ready? So we're up in Ojai, and we're taking the Cozy Dell Trail, which is kind of rocky to begin with. Don't really have too much expectation for this, because we have no idea where we are. I don't know how they came up with the cozy part. Maybe it, it turns cozy eventually. I mean, that would mean blankets or something. <laughs> Right off the bat, the smells of licorice are amazing. It's beautiful, it's quiet, lots of great views so far. Not a bad start. Alrighty, Kathy's feeling the elevation change, but you're a badass, so. That's because I ate a bunch of chips. <laughs> <laughs> Really nice view. And Kathy fixing her shoe. Sticker. I made a rhyme. Don't care. Interesting formation, just a kind of a boulder in the middle of the path. Incline. 
for about maybe half an hour, almost a mile in, but we're still on the incline. Pretty much everywhere we go is up. before we stepped on this trail. Feeling it, aren't you? Not a good idea. Oh, we made it. I, I think that- I can see the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> I think there's a view over here. That's the Ojai Valley. It's freaking amazing up here, but pretty much about a mile, maybe a little bit more, all ascension, and we're the feeling it. The whole thing was. The whole thing was uphill. But actually, the best part about that, it's all downhill from here. That's the extent of the top of this little peak here. Really pretty, it's nice but it's all in the sun, so it's pretty hot. We're gonna head back down, look for a little bit of shade, pop a squat for a few minutes, good to go. Avenue. Okay then, uh, Kathy wants to go to a natural foods place and get some kind of drink or something. I don't know. Just kind of check it out. We're in downtown Ojai, just about, close. Be there any minute. If there's anybody in Ojai that sees us, wave, even though this will air later, so never Thank mind. <laughs> yes. You know, I didn't really shoot that much of Ojai because I was freaking exhausted. I was freaking tired. Kathy was tired and I just didn't remember necessarily to pull the camera out. Uh, we just wanted to get something to drink. We walked around even some more. It was about a four, four and a half mile walking spree. So good. That was kind of enough. But we'll head back to Ojai. Uh, it's always a great town. We'll show you guys some more of that. I think actually we may have vlogged some of that in the past. But I want to re-mention just a little bit of what I talked about yesterday. You remember that? But before I do, a couple of shout outs. Uh, one is to my good friend, Bill Wall and Bob Shaw. 
both of which left comments. I appreciate you guys leaving comments. I, I like getting feedback. It's important to know that you guys are out there, that you're listening, that maybe in some small way, what I see here might affect your life in some uh, positive way. But car guys are car guys. And in order to appreciate, you know, cars and uh, people that, that love cars, you gotta have a good attitude. You gotta have a positive attitude. And positive attitudes generally require faith. And that's that's the whole game. That's the, 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 whole, the whole bag of nuts. The kit and caboodle, the big bag of tricks. Now you can exhibit faith in a lot of different ways. Uh, today, we just happened to exhibit faith in that Kathy said, hey, I wanna go on this hike. I wanna go to a place we haven't been be before. We didn't know. We didn't know where it was gonna lead. We didn't know whether it was up or down. We had no expectations, but we had faith. We have faith that we're gonna have a good time. I have a lot of friends that travel a lot and we travel a fair amount, but there's a difference. There's a difference. When I talk to those people, they talk about the problems that they have when they travel. They lose their luggage. Uh, they run into this or that. They can't find their stuff. They forgot their stuff. They lost their underwear at some point. It'll be a different story. But for Kathy and I, when we travel, we expect the best. We always expect the best. We always have a good time. We get excited. We get up at 4.30 in the morning. We get to the airport. We, we do all the fun stuff. We get our coffee. Traveling is a blast. And I expect it to be a blast. And I expect everything to go smoothly. I just take it on faith. As a result, we've been all over the world in some of the most incredible places, had some of the most spectacular times. Zermatt, Costa Rica, Greece, Rome, San Diego. Been all over the place. But you gotta have faith. You gotta have faith, people. You can't just worry and fret over things that don't matter. And as someone so important, more important than me, once said, things are not good or bad, but thinking makes them so. You know who said that, right? A rainstorm or a cyclone have no meaning, but it's us who put meaning into it. If it's a bad thing, it becomes a bad thing. If it's a good thing, it becomes a good thing. It's your choice. It's up to you. You have to decide what you want your life to be. I want my life to be cool cars, beach life, hikes like today, and voila, I get it in spades. What are you asking for? Life is an a la carte menu. If you ask for strife and tribulations, guess what? You're gonna get it. But if you ask for coolness, guess what? Coolness comes. So it's your choice, people. It's your choice. Get out there, decide what it is that you want, and then go after it. As Confucius once said, be the badass you know you can be. He didn't say that, it doesn't really matter. We'll see you tomorrow.